He was once Iran's returning hero. This was Sharam Amiri in 2010, flying into Tehran from the US. But what he was doing in America in the first place is a mystery that has remained right up to the news of his apparent death. His mother's told the BBC his body has been sent to their hometown with rope marks around his neck, showing he'd been hanged. At the time of his return, Mr Amiri denied defecting to the US, claiming he'd been abducted. I totally trusted the Islamic Republic, and the Republic was confident that I was not defecting to the US. They were seriously following up my abduction. The mutual trust became stronger and stronger. It was in 2009 that Shamad Amiri went on a pilgrimage to Mecca and then seemed to disappear. A year later, he appeared in social media videos denying he defected to the US and that he was hiding from the CIA. In July 2010, he finally returned to his home country. Five years later, his family revealed he'd ended up in an Iranian jail. Since that publicity surrounding his return to Iran in 2010, very little is known about what happened next to Shahram Amiri. Iranian authorities gave no clues as to why he ended up in prison. And that gap in information has now led to speculation on social media as to the timing of his apparent execution. The US State Department has long claimed Mr. Amiri freely defected and provided useful information about Iran's nuclear program. In recent months, American media reported how emails released by the State Department from that time appeared to back up those claims. Last year, Shamad Amiri's parents publicly appealed for compassion for their son, a plea that now seems to have been ignored. Greg Dawson, BBC News.